Welcome to Her Remarkable History. Remember, to support, please subscribe. The Crimes of Irma Grays, the Witch of Auschwitz. During World War II, there were a number of women who emerged from the conflict with a horrific reputation for evil, brutality and murder. A number of trials happened after to bring those criminals who were involved in the Holocaust to justice. It was clear after the liberation of camps such as Auschwitz that these people and the SS guards who were involved needed punishing and one lady who emerged as one of the most evil was Irma Grays. Her crimes were incredibly evil and horrific and she is remembered by some as the witch or the hyena of Auschwitz. Irma Grays was born in October of 1923 and her family background was rather tragic itself. Her mother took her own life whilst Irma was 13 by drinking acid after her father was caught having an affair with another woman. Not much is known about her school life, but when the Second World War happened, she worked at a rest home for SS soldiers who needed a break from the front line. Here they would be cared for before they were sent back to fight on the different fronts. In her teenage years, she wished to become a part of the Nazi Association of German Girls, but her father refused this and did not let her be a part of this group. Now at the age of 17, she then moved to work in all the female camps, working at the SS Female Helpers Training Base at Ravensbrück Concentration Camp. Ravensbrück at the time was a mostly female camp in which political prisoners were housed in horrific conditions. The women here were forced to work incredibly hard and were forced to complete hard labour with very little food. At this specific camp, around 120,000 people would pass through the barbed wire fences during its life, and around 50,000 people were killed from either disease, starvation, execution or other means. However, Ravensbrück was being used to train female SS guards in the brutal ways of being a concentration camp official. Irma herself wished to become an important part of the Nazi machine and she had been brainwashed through Hitler's speeches and the mass propaganda and through this she became convinced that Hitler was there to save Germany. She believed the former government was corrupt and they were ruining Germany's finances with Hitler the man to save the country. As time went on throughout the Second World War the persecutions of Jews became even more severe and around July 1942 Scores were being executed and tortured in horrific conditions. The policies to persecute them became much more severe, and it was people like Irma Gries who were there to promote such suffering. At the age of 19, she found herself being promoted to a supervisor at Ravensbrück, and she was then given a promotion and a transfer to Auschwitz, as the SS officials saw her as a good employee. Whilst in Auschwitz, she was transferred across to Auschwitz II Birkenau. The complex was split into three parts. The first, Auschwitz I, was the main slave labour element of the camp. Auschwitz II Birkenau was the extermination complex, and Auschwitz III was a huge factory where people were forced to work incredibly hard. In Auschwitz, she worked inside the Birkenau part of the camp, and her work inside the SS caused divides to her and her family. Her father opposed the work she was doing, and her father refused to speak to her, and kicked her out of his house for the work inside the camps. Now whilst at the camp, Irma Grease began to become an incredibly feared and horrific guard who was remembered for her barbaric crimes. One of her first duties was to take part in selections. This was when all the prisoners would be lined up, many straight from disembarking off the trains, and then SS guards and doctors would inspect the prisoners. Those who were deemed physically fit and were able to be taken to the camp for processing. However, those who were deemed too weak, ill or old were sent straight to the gas chambers and were killed minutes after arriving at Auschwitz. It was Grise who played God with these people's lives and she was known for deliberately picking out beautiful female prisoners. Once she picked a prisoner, as she felt less attractive than the prisoner, out of pure spite, she would then send these women straight to their deaths regardless of their fitness. This murder was motivated by pure jealousy, which shows the woman Grise was. She was known also for having affairs with many other Nazis and the other guards. She allegedly also raped inmates and brutally struck women, beating them to within an inch of their lives. 
Sometimes she even killed them with her stick, and the women felt helpless to the beatings. Whilst women were working in pits or performing certain tasks, Grise would patrol on top with her dog armed with her revolver. She would prowl up and down the workers, and then every now and then she would aim her gun and fire it into the back of a random prisoner for no reason at all. It was clear she shot prisoners like it was a sport, and she treated them like her prey. Her dogs had also been trained to kill, so they would often be set onto the poor souls, and they would rip people limb from limb all whilst Grease kicked and whipped prisoners. She was also known for her awfulness with her whip. When she was placed on trial, she admitted to whipping prisoners often, and it was clear she was a guilty lady. When at trial, she pleaded not guilty to the crimes presented to her, but witnesses told their stories. They told that Grease would inflict torture and psychological pain onto the prisoners, and the suffering she inflicted was dreadful. The stories of her half-starved dogs, trained to kill and eat prisoners, shocked the courtroom, and they were also told of the selections and how she ordered murder inside the gas chambers. Some even claimed that inside of her hut were awful objects, such as lampshades made from the skin of the dead, but this was disputed. At trial she got the nickname, the beautiful beast, and after being placed on trial for nine weeks, her sentence was guilty and she was to be executed for her crimes. The evidence against her was damning and shocking, but the problem was that she was not the only female guard at Auschwitz who worked to inflict such suffering. She was one of many who were executed. Irma Gries, when she was executed, was just 22, and for a 22-year-old woman to inflict such horror is incredibly shocking. She was taken to Hamlin Prison and it was the famous British executioner Albert Pierre Point, who was down over to carry out the executions planned for the 13th of December 1945. Pierre Point met with Grise before her execution to work out the drop needed to snap her neck, and he wrote of her, When we finished noting the details of the men, it was ordered to bring out Irma Grise. She walked out of her cell and came towards us laughing. She seemed as bonny as a girl as one could ever wish to meet. She answered O'Neill's questions. When asked her age, she paused and smiled. I found we were both smiling with her as if we realised the embarrassment of a young woman revealing her age. Eventually she said 21, and when asked to step on the scale she said, Schnell, German for quick. Irma was 5 foot 4 and a quarter inches tall, and weighed 150 pounds, and was given a drop of 7 feet 4 inches. Irma Grease was the youngest of the three condemned women following her trial. She was chosen to be executed first. Pierre Point wrote of Grease's execution. The following morning, we climbed the stairs to the cell where the condemned were waiting. A German officer at the door, leading to the corridor, flung open the door and we filed past the row into the execution chamber. The officers stood at attention and I walked into the corridor and called Irma Grease. The guards quickly closed the grills on all twelve of the inspection holes and opened the door. Irma Grease stepped out. The cell was too small for Pierpoint to go inside, and then she followed her executioner out of the cell. She was led up to the gallows at around 9.34am, and then was shuffled over a chalk white X that had been made on the floor. A white cap was placed on her head and she shouted, Schnell, before being plunged to her death with the doctor pronouncing her dead instantly. Irma Grease herself was a brutal and barbaric lady who was just 22 when she was executed for committing crimes against humanity in the worst places on earth. Auschwitz was brutal enough without the need for horrific guards to inflict such punishment and suffering. It was these people, like Irma Grease, who made Auschwitz the hell that it was, and it's clear she felt at home inside the concentration camps. She regularly beat prisoners to death, and together with her dogs terrified the innocent people who found themselves at Auschwitz. She was a horrific criminal, and was hanged like one after the Second World War had come to an end. Thank you for watching, and to support, please subscribe to Her Remarkable History. Thank you.